Good evening, I'm in front of Center Point in downtown Greensboro with owner, Roy Carroll. Hi, nice to be with you. Could you tell us what you think about the state of the economy in Greensboro? It's not like we've got 50 companies here where we can get the business leaders involved to help in government. Let's face it, it's unfortunate, but every time there's a charitable event, I can tell you, the same 10 names are going to be on the top of the donor list. You've not only invested your money downtown, you've moved your family there. How's that working out for you? If you took noise out the equation, living in downtown Greensboro is great. We love it. We love walking to Triad Stage. We love walking to restaurants. If we get that one inch of snow that just shuts down the city, we can still walk down the street to Natty Greens and have dinner. On the noise issue, you've complained recently that the city's modified noise ordinance, which sets maximum permitted noise levels at 75 decibels, is ineffective. Are things any better now? We're about at the same place. Unfortunately, on the city council, we have a majority of folks that just say let's let the clubs do what they want to do and let's not mess with the noise ordinance, let's keep the noise limits the highest in the Carolinas. And that's disappointing. I've invested 40 million dollars into this business, this development center point and I've got residents, I've got owners that have invested hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know how a city can have a prosperous downtown when they have a noise ordinance that allows a club owner to get on a rooftop and shout obscenities on a Pennsylvania system across downtown against the mayor and an individual. What does downtown need it next? I'm not putting another dime into downtown until we get a reasonable ordinance in regards to the noise. It would be foolish. It would be absolutely foolish.